Hello, hello, hello there, folks. It's almost the weekend, Friday, Friday morning. After your Halloween celebration over there in the United States of America. And there's plenty of it going on over here too in Cambodia, believe it or not. To my surprise, it was mayhem last night. Not that, not that I went out, because I don't go out and party anymore. I'm too busy. I'm too busy with my... <laughs> my writing work and my health stuff, my videos, trying to help a million people get healthy by 2030. That's my goal. And I come out first thing in the morning, walk along this beautiful riverside here in Siem Reap. It's really nice. So that's the, that's the first thing I got. Get up, have a bunch of water, like a, a liter. So that's, I don't know how much you'd say. Well, it's a liter. Let's just keep it in, in liters and, 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 and metrics because it's easier. And then coffee, nice strong black coffee. And then go for a long, fast paced, powerful power walk that upregulates your growth hormones. It burns fat and it gets you kicked into go mode for the day. So I go three times a day. I tell you, I tell everyone that all the time. Sometimes earlier, sometimes later. Well, I'm, I'm a bit, I started at 8.30 today. I was 6, 30, what, 7. Uh, and yes, so 45 minutes, fast, 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 gets me about four kilometers in, three miles. And you feel fantastic. Your body gets warmed up. Joints are good, your muscles are good, and then a nice, it's a good stretch, mobility session after that, stretching with some, some light. Well, the mobility work is a bit of body weight training too, with the things that I do. So I, I add in some handstands and headstands, things like that. Anyway, we're on that in a bit. I'm gonna show you how, how beautiful Siem Reap is these days. The river, it's more like a pond, it doesn't actually flow. So we've got a dam up there, up on the top that kind of stops it. But it's amazing, this, this riverside walk is the most beautiful. Look at the trees, it's fantastic. And it's only like a 20 minute bicycle ride out to Anchor Wat, which I intend to do later today, because I'm not using a motorbike. I use a push, push bike, like a cruising bike, not a racing bike. A cruising bike, and that's fine for me. And then, so right out there, right around the grounds of Anchor Wat, and then walk around and go up the, the little, a little mountain there, more like a hill, but it's steep, and uh, get a bunch of, bunch of uh, body weight training in there with inclines of steps, um, and maybe some pull-ups off a tree, things like that. Yep, that's what I'll do today. All right, folks, this is another great place, common grounds very popular breakfast and lunch place and it's Candal Village by the way this is another good Mexican restaurant called it's called maybe later maybe later what does it say anyway it doesn't matter so this is this is a really great place to be this street is super, super lovely. It's a village. It's called Candal Village because it really is. It looks like a village. It feels like a village. And you've got a nice bakery, coffee shop here, the village bakery and cafe. And of course, I don't eat pastries or anything like that because I'm keto carnivore. But I don't eat it at all until two o'clock in the afternoon or even later, maybe five or six, once at one meal a day. So that's something that you should really try to get into your system to get up, have lots of water, some coffee, go for a walk and don't eat. Don't eat until later, don't eat three meals a day. This, this, is, this place is very popular. The Little Red Fox is first so. Yeah, fair trade, sustainable and socially responsible Canada village. So yeah, it's popular, but it's quite small. 
he was going upstairs too. Anyway, lots and lots of little shops around here. That's a nice leather workshop. Okay, from Korea, I believe. Hello, how are you doing? Business good? Business good? Better, better? Good, you're doing the lovely wallets, handbags, belts. I have one too. Yep, I made they got I got that from here. <laughs> yeah, so when you come here, you gotta come here. It's called DSK Work the Workshop, Leather Craft and Shop. Very, very nice. So so what about walking? I'm always exploring. So the method is to get out and walk. So train out of my water and coffee first thing in the morning and I usually go into nature by the riverside, but I always take a little few detours around just to explore a few places. Apartment for rent, $40 a month. One room, bathroom, living room, and kitchen. Looks very nice. Wouldn't be a bad place to live. Yes. Yeah. Maybe I'll take the number. Right. Back to the wobbliness here. Whew. Sweating, sweating, sweating. Hot, hot, hot. Four, almost five kilometer walk in the heat. Now coming to the, the home stretch along the riverside here where they got all the little food vendors set up, which is really lovely. It's nice. It's quaint, it's cool to sit here. The food is cheap, but the problem is I can't eat it because they it's, it's all rice and noodles and vegetables and tiny bits of protein, fish and chicken or whatever. But that is not the biggest problem. The biggest problem is that they cook everything in sea dolls. Hello, how are you doing? Good. Hello, Emily Baba. Welcome, you are Cambodia. Okay, Welcome thank you. Cambodia. Cambodia, yes, exactly. Cambodia, love you. <laughs> she loves us, she said. <laughs> now, the thing is, they, they make everything in sea dolls, which is basically palm oil, canola oils, sunflower oil, and even worse, soybean oil. That's all highly toxic. Oxidates at low temperatures means burning, but it's used for high temperature cooking, which means, and they cook it every day. They don't change it like every day. They change it maybe once a week, if so, if you're lucky. And that means you're eating burnt food, even though it doesn't taste burnt or look burnt, it is, because it's cooked in burnt oil. And that, my friends, causes cancer. It's carcinogenic. And on top of that, that oil has been chemically altered uh, to have a long shelf life and just change processed, uh, it's highly processed, so it's cheap. It's cheap as chips, which is why they use it. Back in the old days, people used to cook using lard, you know, simple fat, animal fat, and butter. But that is, butter particularly is expensive. So my alternative to butter is coconut oil. I use coconut oil, because that's uh, high temperature resistant, does not oxidize at all. Well, it does at high, super high, but you know, it's fine. It's uh, it's got omega three fatty acids. It's healthy, fatty, and it's good for you. Coconuts are good, especially coconut oil. I have a tablespoon of that to drink every day, also. So here we are. Ooh. One of the old bridges. Wonderful, beautiful, beautiful place to hang out. Lots of construction going on here. I guess they're getting ready to, for extra special effects for the holidays coming up as it's now November. First of November today, by the way, yes. Thank God that Halloween thing is over. Anyway, more from me later about health, fitness, food, wellness, healthy lifestyle, life lessons, and so on. How to live, how to live healthily and how to live longer, above all, because these things that I do with the good food, uh, restricted eating, uh, no calorie counting, just eating me mostly meat and, fa and, and fat and eggs. They help you live longer. Avoid carbs as much as you can, avoid all sugars, pastries, all that shit. Just please believe me. And go for, do a lot of exercising. Gentle, not too hard, to make sure you do it. All right, that's it. Back to the Grandia Cafe, where I'm gonna hang out and chill. I get a coffee soon. All right, talk to you soon. Yeah, so this is the lovely, we got some sort of a festival going on here with a pig. 
Beautiful. Interesting. The Buddhist. What is that? You know? This one, the what is it? What is the whole thing? Today is uh, the new grand opening. And that's for Prince. Oh, oh Prince, the new, yeah. new owner. Yeah, the new owner. Who's the owner? You don't know. I heard <laughs> it. First, my first time here too. I heard about the first, the first November being yeah. opening. Yeah. So this is the inside of the Grand Deer, very beautiful place. Lovely service, lovely ladies. Good coffee, right by the riverside. Fantastic little spot. Highly recommended. So I come here pretty much every day in the morning after my walk. Alrighty. Enjoy coffee. Thanks for watching Rob's Health Crunch. Don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. There is more great content on the way from me about Cambodia, health, fitness, wellness, real healthy food and great lifestyle habits. Don't forget to enable notifications so you'll know when the latest video is posted. Until then, here's some other great content I think you will enjoy.